Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Welcome to a new Lodge Guys vlog. Oh, I'm aching after my renovations. <sighs> well, um, we actually got workmen here. They're going to come through that door any moment. So of course, suddenly that. Yeah, one. we have a leak somewhere, and they're refitting some laminate. I've just been editing the vlog. Our oh, first one back. Yeah, from the last episode where you saw I kept getting broken off. I've only just managed to finish it this morning. Can I just say? And it, wait a minute, I'm speaking. It's 22 minutes long, so I'm a bit concerned it's a bit long, but hopefully you, you don't mind a long vlog. Can and just... this um, is the book that I'm reading at the moment. One of our lovely friends has lent me it, Captain Corella's Mandolin. That's how far I am at the moment. It's a bit of a strange read to start with, but it's getting better. What do you want to say? Oh, can I have a slot now? So, if, if anybody's ever, everybody, does anybody know what a wickelo is? Right, Wicklow is that little bit of skin on your nail that gets caught on your clothes and it tears back and it ends up bleeding. Well, when I went under the lodge yesterday, I've got about 10. Well, I've obviously got nine, we've got nine fingers. But I'm bleeding all over and the catching and they're really, really hurting me. So I just thought I'd tell you. Thrilling content. I've got a cold. Our neighbours and friends, Jackie and Richard, who you've seen at well, the Village Hotel, has given me cold. We went down for a drink the other day and they both had cold. And I haven't snogged anyone. I don't even bother snogging Nick these days. Yeah, right, you don't. Uh, it's a nice sunny day, which is not bad to say. Is it November tomorrow? I think it's November yeah, tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, so it is. not bad at all. It's White Rabbit's day tomorrow. But yeah, so we're just going to wait for this vlog to finish processing it's got 11 minutes and then we're going to leave the workmen in and we're going to go out nick wants to go shopping of course because that's all he ever does no 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 can i just say we're trying to get a cabinet because we finished the renovations now we're trying to get a cabinet to match and i ordered one off amazon and they've sent us fake tracking information and uh, yeah. the oh yeah you need to have a look at that order so what we're actually going out for is i'll show you quickly so here's a new bedroom in the daylight looking very smart um we're not 100% key on these light lamps, so we're just going to go out and look for new lamps. And the, no, we're not actually, we're going for the cabinet. It's back and so on after the cabinet. Uh, yeah, but we're actually going to have lamps, so stop contradicting me, or you'll get a slap. Let's go. Toasted currant tea cake. I knew you were going to say that. Why? Because you're a greedy bleeder. So that's a null then. Well, I'm not hungry, but fine then, it's a null. I'd rather have something next, nicer, Costa. I'm going to Costa. Um, so we've decided to call off at the range to have, find a lamp. Yeah, to have a look at their lamp range. So uh, let's see what we can find. I want some talcum powder too. To get um, a stain off one of my tops. It's a little trick that Nick knows about. It's got grease on one of my tops, so we'll show you that later if it works. Ooh, I've got all the Halloween stuff. Well, back away tomorrow. Well, yeah. Well, there's all Christmas stuff. Advent calendars there. Oh, talcum powder. Let's have a look. In fact, let's go have a look at. Uh, well, go on then. Let's look at talcum powder first. Thanks for just. Uh, thanks for just leaving me there. I said thanks for just leaving me there looking for talc. So I don't know about lamps, but I have seen some I like. Oh, look at them. That's what we got for at home when we're doing sit-down videos. Yeah. But anyway, I have seen something I do want. I want that um, dancing reindeer, dancing moose. Oh, it stopped dancing now. It was dancing a minute ago. <laughs> it was dancing, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Right, so we're back in the car. I'm just updating our Instagram. Happy Halloween. Even though it's not Halloween when you're watching this, it's Halloween today. Don't forget to check out our Instagram. It's The Lodge Guys. And you can check out our feed. Um, so, we didn't get. Any, you mentioned feed. We didn't get any lamps in there, but we got some. A creative card and envelope pack. It's got. We, what we wanted it was the gold and silver, because we're doing a charity. Uh, party, Christmas party. Have we mentioned this yet? No. We are doing a charity Christmas party this year um, for our neighbours and friends, etc. Um, it will be sometime in December. So as we're in Vlogmas, I will have to vlog it. Uh, vlog it. So you'll see that. So we're getting loads of 
vouchers and donated prizes from companies, local companies, uh, friends and family and whatever we make is going to a cancer charity. So we've got some vouchers for local companies and I wanted to get these gold envelopes to put them in. And we also got some charcoal facial scrub because I like to scrub my face. And I got some Johnson's baby powder, which should hopefully, according to Nick, get rid of the grease stain on one of my next tops, which I noticed when it came out of the I washer. Assuming it is a grease stain. Well, it looks like a grease stain. Then it will get rid of it. There's an old trick that I learned years ago, which I will show everybody later in the video. So now we're going to Dunnell Mills, and apparently Nick wants toasted currant tea cake. And yeah, I'm getting headache because I've, I've not eaten for two hours. And so you've eaten as much as I have, I haven't got a headache. Porridge. Well I've got a headache because I've got a cold and I've been coughing too much. Feed a cold and starve a fever. So after the Dunham Mills hopefully we'll get a lamp in here. You've got enough diffusers They're for God's sale. sakes. On sale. I won't buy any of these all, You've got enough. Barker and Stone House. So, get ready for expensive furniture. Ooh, nice. I like everything here. So, I like everything here. Ooh, I'm just gonna see how much like lamps cost here compared to what we just bought. Oh, 49 quid, not bad. Yeah, oh, look at that. A uh, diffuser with its own stand. Do you want me to buy that? <laughs> This is the range that we have at the lodge. Different handles. Oh yeah. Does that matter though? It's not bad, is it? It's on sale. I know. How much are these? With their own stands. Thirty two pounds for a diffuser. I don't think so. I won't be buying that. Oh, right guys, it's the next day and Nick is busy preparing another beef and tomato stew. Because we've got our uh, friends uh, and neighbours coming around tonight for that. I'm full of cold, you may be able to hear. This is what... Oh, boy, he's playing on it. I'm not playing on it. I've got a frigging cold. Oh, Nick always thinks I'm... anybody who's ill is playing on it. I'm not playing on it. I've just got a cold. It's a simple fact. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> cough properly. This is how he coughs, right? <coughs> That's how he coughs. It's not very often that I have to be beat, but... Off. So yeah. we're going to show you the lamps that we got. Do you want to show these lamps, Nick? And then have I'll show you the lamps, and then we'll go back to Nick because he's got a, uh, a rant about them. In fact, I won't put the lamps on because we've got guys here um, doing things on the lodge for the leak. So that's the lamps we got. I hope you can see them in the dark there. So it looks a little bit wonky, and we'll tell you why in a minute. So there's the second one. There's the man going under the lodge because we've got a leak. So, why does one of the lampshades look wonky? Because some thief in Scrope in Dunham Mills stole the ring from the top of it and we bloody bought it, didn't we? So we've got to go all the way back to Dunham Mills, the closest one is 40 minutes away. Not impressed. To get it sorted. Not impressed. But we're not going today because I can't be bothered. I just want to go over to the lounge, get a cup of tea, and sit there with my book all day. Well, I've got a cold. I've got a cold! I've got a cold and I want to do all. And I need my hair cutting as well. But not oh, while I've, God, I've got cold. Not while I've got a cold because I don't want to sit in the barber chair sniffing. So we've got friends coming tonight and um, I'll see if I can get them on the vlog. Sarah and Ari, you've seen them before. Oh, that looks ready to me. Re ready to put on. It's been on since I started chopping. Lovely. So, ah, oh, it's hot. 
Why have you put it on already? Yeah, I put it on earlier on this morning when I started chopping. Very nice. Right, so let me show you this. There it is. I'm hoping it's definitely like grease on my top. Well, it will be because you're a greasy git. Well, no, I don't know where it's come from. Right, can you put it on a flat surface? I don't know where it's come from, but there it is. Right. The downside to this is talcum powder stinks. Wow, well, that smells smell like talcum powder. Baby's nappies. Well, of course it does. It's Johnson's baby powder. Well, we should have got that cheap stuff then. Let me smell. Let me smell. Yeah. <laughs> This better work. Well, you can't see it staying. Mm. So, so, what it's doing, <clears throat> right, is the talcum powder, the tiny particles of talcum powder are actually soaking up the grease. So, technically, now, if this is grease, all you do is you just get a clothes brush, brush it, and you, your grease is gone. Mm. I'm like Mary Stubbs. Mm. Right, so we've decided, even though I feel like crap, that we're going to go to Dunham Mills and get the, the um, lamp sorted. So off we go. I need the lamp first. I'm not having a, a toaster current tea kit there. Why don't you watch me then? You didn't like it yesterday anyway. Right, we're back from shopping. I'm gonna show you the lamp now properly. I can put the lights on. So it's all sorted. No more wonky shade. And the bedroom is complete. Ah, there we go. So. I'll show you something else that we bought today as well. In preparation for Vlogmas. Stu's cooking. Nick Stu's cooking. We've got, and I know we've already bought an advent calendar each, but we saw this today and I really liked this. So, fragranced candle advent calendar. And we've already sent a picture to Ryan and Aiden so Ryan doesn't copy it because I know he's a candle freak. <laughs> so, hard tits, Ryan, we got that. I bet you two it. So. It's from Dunnell Mills. Oops, I've, to I've told them where to get it. <laughs> it includes 25 fragrance tea light candles and a decorative tea light holder. So, number day one is the tea light holder. So I wonder if you get a, um, a candle in number one as well. Well, not if you get 25 candles, yeah. no. So we'll open that uh, on Vlogmas day one. And then we've also got that. Oh yeah, I bought this as well today because I like that. This is our happy place because the lodge is, of course, our happy place. Unfortunately, it's the same colour as the wall. I like it. It's discreet. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the edges white oh, so it stands out. Thanks. Trust me. I know what I'm Stop interfering about. with things that I buy. Right. What's happening here now? Right, You're gonna we're sort gonna me. Uh, this T-shirt off now. So we've realised that I don't have a clothes brush. So oh. Nick's gonna vacuum it. So I come up with the idea of. I hope I don't fly up vacuum. What? Fly up vacuum. The whole T-shirt. Well, no, because you're going to hold it. Right, I'll need you to kind of hold this side of the t-shirt so it doesn't actually suck it up. Ready? Yep. You see the stain there? Yeah. Right, so that's not working. Really? So use that brush on there as a clothes brush. You can't. It's not. It's not stiff enough. But you can see where the the grease has absorbed the thing, and it's just a case of brushing it out now. Now that's like tickling it with a bloody cotton. But like that. Well, you should have thought about magic of a, a clothes brush. I'm afraid. I told you this morning we don't have one. Right. I found two things: a toothbrush and a mini clothes brush. That's absolutely no good. Mm. This will be though. Well, really, this needs to have the proper tools. But as usual, we never do anything. As you're supposed to. Well, it looks better than it did. Does it need washing again now, then? Uh, not necessarily. It's got tack all over it. Can you just hold it at one side and stretch it so I'm not doing it and rubbing it up and down that same spot? There you go. Apart from the powder, the whiteness, which is the towel. Yeah, well, I might just sling it. Once you've washed that, now. you can't even see where that stain is now. Hi guys, so we're back from shopping. Hi. We've got our lamp sorted. Although you've given you've given him a tour of that already, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, the stew is cooking. It's, well, it's, it's finished actually. We're just waiting for our, our friends to come around now. And um, we've got the lodge all cosy. We've got the fire on and the candles and the smellies and all that kind of stuff. And Lee's turned the heating on too high and it's baking. Right now. I don't freaking really touch the heat. <sighs> but I'm having a gin. You're freaking drunk. A beef eater pink gin, which we tried in the airport when we went to Lanzarote, didn't we? 
Sorry, am I disturbing you? Um, I don't seem to have one. Am I disturbing you? I'm playing games. Then turn it off and be rude. Stop being rude. Our viewers want to talk to you. Hi. Um, yes, I would like a beef eater pink gin. <sighs> not pink gin, it's strawberry gin, isn't it? It's still pink. <sighs> right then. We'll um, get Ari and Sarah on camera this time. I'm sure we will. At some point. Right, Nick, so how uh, long did it take you to make that? Hours. So, the, um, the stew was a success. So we're now having dessert that I've been slaving away all afternoon doing. And as friends, Harry and Sarah, are here, the vegging. Harry! There's Harry, not Harry. 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 <laughs> Trying to be pop. Sarah's about to emerge from the toilet. Oh yeah, she'll be well pleased with that. <laughs> Uh, so we're having what? Apple and black currant. Blackburn, Blackberry. Red. Apple and black. Uh, I don't. Well, whatever. Apple and red somewhere. With Tesco fresh custard. Nick's had a few gins, haven't you? Yes, beef eater pink, the new yeah. one. Yeah, which he had six of at Manchester Airport, Leeds Brefford Leeds Airport. Bradford. Come on. Just don't rush me. It takes time to prepare masterful food like this. And here's Sarah. Oh God! <laughs> Coming out of the toilet. I was going to say, we're well pleased with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really nice in there. Oh, it's Nick's diffuser obsession. Oh, I've got, I've got two new ones. I haven't put them out yet. Is that what it is? You know how much I've spent on air, air fresheners? Diffusers. In the last two or three months, oh. about eight pound. Oh, I just love the. Well, there were a shop in in Freeport that had them on special. They were only for a fiver, so I went and basically cleared all shelves out. So every room's had a different a different scent. Nobody's interested in diffuser. Well, you just blow and shut up. <laughs> we just want feeding. Well, our viewers already know about me air fresh. Yeah, they do. Anyway. So, <sighs> come on in now. Hello, guys. Aaron say I've gone home and we're going to bed. Very tired now. And we can finally have a lion tomorrow. Oh. Because we have no workmen coming. Bliss. Bliss. So, if you're not already a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button below to become a lodger. Don't forget to click the notification bell. You'll get alerts when new videos go live. Check out our patron feed and uh, join us as a patron if you like what you see. And good night from a very, very tired lodge. I'm not kidding you. Well, I don't know why you've done not today. Oh. Bye. Read this. See you next time on Lodge, guys. Bye.